I haven't made a video in like four months. What's up everyone? So this has probably been one of the most stressful years of my life and that's saying a lot considering how bad 2016 was. So long story short, uh, I've been dealing with some family issues since February and I just recently got kind of under control this past month. So it's been a long process, but things are settling down. So now, now I can jump back into the swing of things with YouTube. Uh, if you've been following me over on Twitch, you, you've known that I've been streaming occasionally over there. And that's generally been World of Warcraft raiding or RuneScape. I've actually gotten back into the game. I'm playing both MMOs, which is not helping my time crunch. So yeah, I'm really close to graduating college. All of my requirements for graduation have been taken care of. I, I, meaning I'm signed up for the last of my classes. I just have to pass the classes that I'm taking this summer. And then I'm also taking a couple classes this fall and then I graduate in December. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, and then life begins. So with some free time set aside, I'm gonna try to make more content on YouTube. But that is kind of where you guys come in because I don't know what to make. Um, I have a whole bunch of camera gear that uh, allows me to make really high quality videos, um, but I don't know what to do with it. So I needed to ask you guys what kind of content you want to see because I don't have the money to buy stuff to do like tech reviews. I don't get enough views or engagement to reach out to companies for free stuff to review. So kind of in a tough spot if that's the direction that I want to take the channel, which I'm not sure that that's even the direction that I should take the channel because uh, I'm fairly biased in, in my opinion. And I was very clear with the Razer Naga versus Corsair Scimitar video that um, a lot of you guys thought that I was just a Razer fanboy. So it's kind of like, I don't know how I could do that without being extremely biased. But, you know, it's always an option for me to be able to do a tech review, but I don't think it's going to be the main focus of this channel. Then there's the option of doing vlogs, which really intrigued me. I don't think my life right now is exciting enough to do vlogs. You know, I thought about doing stuff with like my weight loss, recording it and tracking it, but I don't know if that's for me. Uh, I've been doing a lot of cooking and like healthy foods and stuff lately, so I could do cooking videos, but I don't even know if that's something I want to do. I could do uh, cycling stuff again because I'm starting to ride my bike again, but it's like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know what to do. And then there's gaming content. You know, I used to post RuneScape videos and sometimes World of Warcraft videos, but I just don't know if that's the kind of direction I want to take this this channel. And then there's, there's the computer side. Uh, I can do computer build logs, but I'm not really regularly making computers. I recently ordered a bunch of parts for my brother to put together a computer, and I'll probably record that, but I don't do that often enough to make that a focus. So I'm kind of in a, in a place where I, I just don't know what to do. I don't have the money to buy parts to make computer videos or tech reviews. I don't have the connections to get parts for free or things for free. And it's not even about the money behind a sponsorship. It's just having something to make a video on. Like, how do I do that? Taking us back to where I was trying to go, uh, when I move, my life will be a lot more exciting. I'll be on my own. I'll be making new adventures for myself, meeting new people, doing new things in a new area. And I think that'll be kind of interesting to show to you guys through a vlog, a documentary style depiction of my life. This is just a rant of how sucky I am. I've been so fascinated with vlogging for the last five years and I've never given it a solid try myself. I've, I've done a little bit of, of the handheld thing um, but it's mostly been like, I'm embarrassed to shoot this, so it's only going to be a 10 second clip, or I'm recording this in my car because no one can hear me talking, or I'm recording this video right now at like 2 a.m. because no one's awake, so no one can really 
hear me say anything, even though they probably can. You know, I don't really want to do the gorilla pod holding it out in front of me to record myself option because that is way overdone. Um, granted, I'll probably still use this, but I like the idea of doing something more cinematic. While I'm not a filmmaker, I haven't done any formal training or even um, amateur work or anything, I like the idea of putting more effort into something. You know, there's a channel called NerdWriter, which I'm like deeply in love with all of his content. And I like that style of, of video where he's analyzing something over a voiceover. And I think I could do something like that with my daily life. So something along the lines of recording what I'm doing and then having a narrative behind what happened. Finding a way to build a story out of the monotony of everyday life. That interests me. I don't know, I've recorded probably 30-40 minutes worth of stuff for this and I really, I don't know. There's gonna be a lot of jump cuts, I'll tell you that right now. So to, to wrap up the randomness of this video, I don't know what to do. I want to know what you want me to do. And knowing that no one is probably going to comment on this video, that probably means that I'm just going to try out the whole vlogging thing. We'll see what we can come up with. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Take her easy.